Hey guys, welcome back to Toy Notes with me, Kelsey. Today I'm playing with a science set. This is the Smart Scope by Ravensburger. It's the Science X Smart Scope. It comes with a lot of stuff actually. It's got all the stuff to build the Smart Scope um, lighting, clear plates, and everything. That way you can put your object inside and then look on the top and see it all blown up. It says, Dive into a microscopic world, SmartScope shows you objects in amazing detail and works with the camera of any smartphone or tablet. No apps or special prep needed. Discover the fascinating microcosmos around you. So I'm super excited to see how this works. Let's go ahead and bring you guys in closer, open it up, and build it. Time to open up our Science X SmartScope. So we've got, oh, this is falling apart. That's not a good sign. This is quite a thick booklet of the materials in the box, how to use them, and different things to look at, activities. So keep that nearby. Got that, I don't know where that goes. Important note on mounting the lens in the housing and lens holder. Insert the lenses vertically in the hole provided, then tilt them gently until they lock into place. Okay, so that's a notice about how to put it together. Oh, is there the big science X poster on where you can find different things to look at in your microscope. And then, of course, the microscope to put together. So we've got lots of little pieces here, including one that's got some batteries in it. All right, so we're going to set this off to the side and pull out our instructions. Looking for English. Every single language in here. Okay, so English is back here. So it talks about all the materials included and then all the pieces, how to build it. So we're going to use this to build our smart scope. So, firstly, we're going to need my handy dandy screwdriver and all the build pieces. Oh, it comes with a little regular screwdriver. Isn't that cute? Okay, I think this is everything. So the foam plate gets attached at the very end, even though it's listed as number one. So you're going to So this goes like so in the base. This goes this way. There we go. And then there was a small disc here. The lighting window. It's going to sit inside. Okay. 
Now, got some pieces over here. Number nine, the two object tray rails. And it goes in. So these then go in first. I don't understand. These instructions are just pictures. It doesn't actually tell you what direct what order to do this stuff in. So that's kind of frustrating. Um So there's a guide on the inside of these right here that they, it sets on like so and like elevates it, but it doesn't clip in. This feels like it's not made very well. I just don't feel like this is really sturdy. How would I take this outside and not have it fall apart every time I touch it? Okay. So that's how. So there's these little hooks on the side. You kind of roll it into it. It feels like it's going to break, but it sure doesn't. So... There's that. Okay, so those are put on there. Thanks for the instructions, not. And the housing goes like this over top of all that. There we go. Now we're going to have this piece, and this was the piece that had that warning about these little clear discs. So what it said was to rock them up in it so you don't break them. Those are in, and then it goes like this inside. And this little coggy wheel thing goes in here. Which direction, though, would be nice to find out. My goodness, these are some of the worst directions I've ever seen in my whole life. Okay, so it threads through, obviously, but again, doesn't really click in place or do anything you would expect it to. And then these just slide on the ends. Okay. Now the screws all go in apparently to keep it together. Oh, 
There's one. Don't grab very well, so they're they'll spin forever without actually grabbing anything. Okay, so that is the build and then this goes on top last and it's got a sticky there you go so that is how you put the smart scope all together now using it, it says you should only study animals that are already dead when you find them. Living creatures must be treated with respect and you should not kill them. If you want to study live things, you can do, um, you can take the little slides and put some honey on there to attract some ants and then you can study them eating. You can study water droplets, parts of in insects, other objects like coins, and any of the objects on the poster. So how it would work is how does it work? Oh, so you have to have a tablet it uses the camera through here and then I don't see the light coming on even though I did turn it on the tablet uses the camera to see down here at the lens and the light and you would slide the slide inside so you do take your slide put it here and then you would take your tablet or in this case I'm just going to use my phone so you can see so I would turn my camera on line it up well here And then you can see down in the smart scope. And this moves the tray up and down for focusing on the camera. So you could even take video of the things you're seeing, which is pretty cool. Though I can say this is not as cool as having like a real microscope because it doesn't focus very well. Well guys, I hope you enjoyed looking at the smart scope with me. Um, I'm torn on this one. I like it because it does encourage kids to kind of explore the worlds around them and encourages science. But I feel like as a mom, I wouldn't want to send my tablet or smartphone out with my kid outside to use it. And it was kind of flimsy even once it was put together. I just didn't feel like it was super well made. So it's not that I don't like it, but I do have some drawbacks about its usage. I would think you'd have to do a collection of things outside and then bring them inside to use it would be my recommendation. Otherwise, I think Ravensburger did a good job. Again, this is for eight and older. Um, the 15 amazing activities are really just suggestions where to find things and what things to look at, like doing a drop of honey on a slide and letting ants be attracted to it. 
and then watching them eat the honey, um, that sort of thing. But it wasn't, like, amazing. It was kind of what you expect with a microscope. So, guys, if you want to be here for more Toy Notes awesomeness, make sure you hit that subscribe button and give us a big thumbs up as it's always appreciated. Become part of the Toy Notes family by visiting at toynotes.com as well. And until next time, bye!